Um, this is part three, I think, of this vampire what if, I guess. But, <clears throat> last time I left off on this episode, um, or last episode, or part, was Yamato taking Deku and the seven other students, along with the people of the office, and teachers are also, that teachers also took in which would be auspicious, and there would be a report of this, and Deku's mother and father would be looking for them. This is whenever it's just a little after. They've been talking, and they're in a car and van or whatever, and he would stop with them hearing a garage door open, and the car move again in, and they would close, with the door of the back of the van opening with you hear people scream while you hear people being dragged out of it and Deku would be last which he would kick the dude that has him there blindfolded and he would like broke the whole rope that they had on him and he would be here ripped off his little blindfold and to be there with more guys there and Yamato walking to the top of the building you could say saying we'll take you all here since most of the kids families are in debt to us and all that so we just need you to be confiscated until we get our money and all that and you guys will be working off part of their debt here. He would say you guys have two options. One of the options is you either have to defeat five of our guys to stay in pieces or alive for now. Show off our cor your quirks. If we like them, we'll keep you or whatever. Starting now, pulling a kid from the group and be thrown into it with five of the weaker members with semi-good quirks. We'll fight him with the kid being beaten and lost, would be thrown in the way. This is whenever it would get to Deku's, Deku's turn, but the person right after him would be Uraraka. Whenever he gets there, people that go against him are allowed to use their guns, saying that this kid has some strange ability and he was able to take down one of our, two of our members by himself, even after being punched a lot by me. Deku's wounds want to be regenerating right now, since he is a kid and he used up part of his stamina and magic to regenerate himself and Yamato would see that saying I thought you had a regenerating quirk or you had a stamina do you need something to eat Deku would say no it's right in front of me dashing forward on one of the guys that are going to fight him which he would grab by the face and sink his teeth into him drinking it with his wounds completely healing Standing back up with blood dripping off of his mouth, saying one down, four to go, with them pulling out their pistols and shooting at him. Deku would duck and all that, and he would go up to one of them and try to grab onto him with the guy shooting at him, with Deku jumping off of him, with the guy getting shot. He'll be above the guys, and he would have sticked out his hand, raising it up, which would cause an explosion to uphill or send them up a little bit off their feet. Deku would dive down, punching one of them in the stomach, grabbing the gun, shooting the other guy, just popping off random shots at the people, shooting one of them out of the hand, knocking the gun out of it, again, 
the dude holding his hand, with Deku being shot in the back by the other person four times, which he would turn around and he would dash at him with his wounds healing, and he would punch him by the face, sending him into the ground. He would grab that dude that he just punched and would drunk more blood that would help him regenerate even faster and all that. And this is when Yamato would clap his hands, saying that you're strong for a kid. What is your quirk? Some kind of vampire? Something like that. But you have some kind of other strange ability. Amazing. So do you have weakness to other stuff? Except maybe the sun or garlic or something like that. And all that. This is whatever he would say silver or something like that. Which he'd say that's stupid. Not like I'm a real vampire. He'd say you live kid, bring the next kid, but you would be Uraraka. Uraraka would be put up there. With them not having guns, with a dude charging at her, which she would tap him. Singing him upwards in zero gravity to the roof, which she would turn off with the dude smashing into the ground from the two story building, which would hurt him. The guy is saying, Just don't let her touch you, smacking her and kicking her around. Which Deku would jump in and in front of them, and would drop kick one of them and grab her and would have sticked out his hands. With him saying zip, with three, the rest of them dropping to the ground, with their legs being popped by him. Which Yamato would ask what that is. Deku would he called said said that it's called zip. There's other ways to use it. Another way is to sticking out his hand, clenching it with Yamato dropping. Saying, I can even crush somebody's heart, which it doesn't matter what type of cork you have, it'll just kill you instantly. <laughs> Yamato saying, So you could have killed me from the start, why haven't you? And Deku says that you're not supposed to kill people, so I won't do that. I'll just take you down somehow. Yamato said, That's naive. You're just a kid anyway. And all that. And this is when Yamato would just tell Silva to go attack him. Which he would drop down. Whenever he does, he would have sticked out his hand with a liquid coming off of it, forming across his hand, which would form a claws, saying that his cork is known as silver. And that, um, if it, if you're not affected by silver, then that's just unlike a vampire, but we'll see if that's true. With silver loading a bullet, made out of silver, 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 I'm gonna shoot Deku. Deku is expecting it's just a normal bullet, so he would just block by his arm, which it would go into Deku, with Deku looking at it with him trying to regenerating it, which it wouldn't work, and he would say, apparently I'm, I am weak against silver, and this is where Yamato would laugh, so, are you just like a vampire, so he just throw garlic on him, guys, they would say, yeah, boss, and the dude would continuously shot bullets at him, which Deku, his body is acting like a normal human body while being shot by bullets and all that. Which Deku would rip the bullets out of him, which it would stop him from regenerating for a while. But after a minute of being shot, bullets from about five minutes ago that he ripped out would heal and all that. Like Silver would stop and 
say that this is taking too long. Shooting at Deku. With De at Deku's head. Which Deku would stick out his hand. Causing an explosion. At right in front of his face that would deflect the bullet. Sort of. And all that. And the rock would be behind him. After all the shots that were hitting him in the arm and back were happening, she would be crying, and Deku would say it's okay, and all that. This is a Yamato, okay, that's cute, jumping down right behind Deku. After he said this, Deku would turn around while being shot. And he would see Yamato take his fist and hit Uraka right in the neck, pretty much, with her neck cracking, and she would be sent to the ground, which would make Deku mad, with a massive amount of magical power bursting out of him, with Deku saying, this is end sticking out his hand, clenching it, but it's not going for his heart, instead a physical manifestation of his magic would appear, of a hand which would grab him and he would throw him into the ground and he would, he would have stepped forward that he would, creating the explosions, would blast him into the sky. At this one, Deku would swing his hand down, making another explosion, sending him into the ground. Yamato would be hurt by these, and he would look towards him, saying, you brat, with his court manifesting completely over him, and he would charge towards him, spinning, and would have attacked him with his tail, pretty much, which he would slam Deku. But Deku would have blocked it with his hands and would have swinged it at him, grabbing him, clenching him again, saying, I'm just going to break all your bones. What you hear, crack, 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 crack. And he would drop him to the ground, turning to the rest of them, and he would grab the rest of the kids and he would tell the rest of them to run of the kids that are beat up. They're not killed yet, but you blast a hole with them escaping the best that they can. Them grabbing the rock him, jumping out of that place, slamming his feet into the ground with a huge, like, circle of his energy would appear. Hey, 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 hey. So the explosion would happen, and they'll be out with this contacting pretty much his parents with the explosions, which his mother would fly or jump around with his father using enhancements and they would get there seeing what happened with the mask where Deku is after they had captured everybody and they'd say that he left with them going looking for him for the whole day and cut to Deku um, pretty much with Uraka's dead body and he would bite her with her eyes opening, turning red, with her gasping for air, asking, are you asking no, saying no, and she would see Deku, with him saying, are you okay, and all that, and she would say, yeah, sitting up, saying what happened, he'd said that, um, heroes came and got them when we left, or I got you out. And she'd say, yeah, where's the rest of them? She, he'd say that they're back with the hero, with my parents, the heroes, and that I have to tell you something. She would ask what it is. He would have to explain that she died, and... He brought her back to life. And not to 
and saying that it's okay to be mad at me. Of course, she would thank him and say that it's okay as long as I'm alive, it's fine, and all that. Oh my god, help. Oh my god, please help me. There's a insane, insane person out here chasing me with some kind of spear looking thing. I don't know. But yeah, I thank him, and she would be, they would leave, and their parents would find them, or Deku's parents would, and ask what happened, and all that. And she would see Uraraka with red eyes, and they'll know what happened. And Deku's father would, and mother would say that you weren't supposed to use that. On somebody and he would say yeah but she died because I couldn't protect her and I think that was my fault so I had to use it and so this is the end of this episode see you guys next time